Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, today we will be doing the analysis of HPCL 2023 Civil Engineering paper. Yes, finally the wait is over. You were waiting for this exam from quite a long time and yes, this has happened. So let us know whether the paper was easy, tough or moderate. So why to wait? Let's start quickly. First of all, before that, if you don't know about me, you are new to our channel, you can go through my profile. Next, you can join my Telegram group for further upcoming classes. Now, guys, here the paper was from 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The number of seats was 18. Here, the basically, the number of portions were 170 and the syllabus was civil, English language, quantitative aptitude and intellectual potential test. The main highlights of the exam was, first of all, no calculator was provided. And as far as the level of questions which were being asked, it was not needed as well. Rough sheets was provided to you. Paper was from easy to moderate. Questions were very simple. One line sentence wise questions were there. Okay. Now let us talk about from which subjects, what are the pattern of questions which were asked. First of all, we'll talk about the non-technical part that is the English language. Yes, guys, you have 17 questions from English language. So, three, four questions were related to synonyms. A passage was there regarding that four questions were there. Sentence, a paragraph was there and you have to do like which sentence will come accordingly in the chronology you have to arrange. Questions from that topic and questions from fill in the blanks were asked. So, these were the things in English language. Talking next in quantitative aptitude, I have made you solve so many questions in quant, profit percentage, profit percentage, then questions separately from percentage, age questions that two years before, what was the age ratio, now after two years, what is the one ratio, such pattern of question was asked, question one from speed distance was asked. And simple questions, two questions from trigonometry were asked and they were very simple. Okay, next if I move further, we'll talk about the technical but one more thing. There was one more thing, quantitative aptitude, you have 34 questions. Then intellectual potential test also you had. I'll write it down. Intellectual potential test also you had 34 questions. So English language 17 questions, quantitative aptitude 34 questions and intellectual potential test you had again 34 questions. My students who gave the paper they told that ma'am whatever you made us solve in the YouTube classes and in the R free classes exactly same copy paste questions were asked. So, <clears throat> trust me, they told me that they were able to attend all the 34 questions related to intellectual potential test. It was that easy. Okay, the questions which I made you solve in the YouTube uh, regarding the series one that what next will come, what is the pattern wrong, mirrors, questions and all those things. Similar pattern of questions were asked in the intellectual potential test. Now, moving towards the technical part, uh, guys, in survey questions related to error, and latitude and departure was asked. In fluid mechanics, questions from open channel flow regarding uh, critical depth and all was asked. Moving further, moving further to so topic arc and questions from normal stress was asked. In highway, you had questions from regarding to gradient that in heavy rainfall in a, a certain uh, pavement was given. What is the grade you will be providing? So, geometric design of highways, questions were asked and questions from overtaking side distance. Questions were very simple. Uh, you can say that the paper is easy to moderate because if you are prepared for this, definitely we are hoping that the cutoff will be more because if we uh, see quant aptitude, so some people who haven't studied profit and loss percentage, you might find it difficult if you haven't studied. So if you talk about non-technical -te portion, intellectual potential test, I guess you will able to solve because very simple questions were there. Similarly for English language. If marks, if you talk it about on non-technical portion, you can make mistakes on quantitative aptitude. If I talk about the technical portions, as far as I have got the feedback of students, they are saying that questions were very simple. Yeah, the only thing which they have to do is the time management because generally database questions were there. And if numerical questions were there, there was nothing like they need to use calculator. They were as simple as that. Now, coming further to steel in steel questions from plastic analysis and question from rivet was asked. 
Now moving further to Perth, Perth simple question. What is the full form they have asked you? In environmental engineering questions from sedimentation that flow through period they divided by detention period. What is this ratio called? They have asked this question. And question similarly they have asked from activated sludge. I told you now, you ask something or don't study. Study ASP because this is the favorite topic almost for every examination. So activated sludge presses they have asked question. Question from BOD, like very simple question, which I made you solve n number of times. If you check out the app free classes, you can just now also check it out in recorded format. You will see that I made you solve n number of sessions in which I made you solve DO initial minus DO final into dilution factor. This will give you the BOD for the required time and the required temperature. So question from this topic was asked. BMC question from plywood was asked. I have made you solve questions from plywood and timber n number of times. Now, in soil mechanics, the questions from friction pile and negative skin friction was asked. Okay. Now, moving further in RCC, yeah, questions were simple. One liner like limiting depth in FE415, what is the value of K? Okay. Limiting depth. So, they have asked questions like that. Asked questions from IS code. What is the axial compressive strain in concrete? What is the stress in concrete? So, questions from these days topics has been asked in RCC. Very simple, no out of the box questions. If you have studied, you will be able to answer it. Now, next coming further in engineering mechanics. Here you have to calculate three questions. One to calculate CG of solid cone. One to calculate CG of hollow cone. And one question from L section. These were asked. Okay. So overall that 170 questions, I know that negative marking of 0.25 is there definitely. But as far as the feedback of my students, the questions were very simple. You can call it easy to moderate, but nowhere the paper was tough. Okay, so we are expecting to get a decent cutoff on the higher side because the paper was easy to moderate. So let's hope and I wish you all the best waiting for the results and for more further videos and more further sessions, do subscribe to Baijus Example. Thank you everyone.